Hiya, it's Barry here. I'm just doing a very quick tutorial on uh, FL Studio. What I'm doing is I just want to show you a, the drum track I've done to a song that I've, I've recently done. Just the drums only, and I just I only ever do the drums in FL Studio. I always do all the the, the other instruments in uh, other applications, but FL Studio is definitely the best for drums. And uh, when I'm, if you're doing a song which is like a pop song rather than a hip hop or dance song, I always use the FPC that's already in FL Studio because it's a natural sounding drum. It sounds like it, hopefully it sounds like a, a proper kit being played by a real drummer rather than just a programmed machine. This is a playlist. If you can see, it's quite complicated. Because what I've tried to do in, in 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 nearly every bar, or at least every two or three bars at least, I've changed the pattern slightly. I've changed the accent where the snare is or the accent where the higher is. Or I've added a, a ride cymbal perhaps and took away a higher or had added um tambourine for a bit, took away. The reason I've done that is I want to I want it to sound like a real drummer is playing this song rather than just a program. It's easy to just find a beat that sounds good and just bang the beat on every single bar and never change it. And it just sounds like a program machine. Whereas if you can take the time to vary the drums every so many bars, just add just subtle changes every bar or so makes a big difference. I'll just play it anyway and you'll hear the... Also, you yeah, vary the volume a lot. See there. Snare frills. There, they're simple, just simple, just little triplets. You see them, you can see them there on the, on the, um, on the step sequence. So you can see there's a triplet there, and there's a little quarter beat. There's a tambourine coming in there, if you hear the tambourine. Chorus of the song. I've added some uh, compression, some compression, and some uh, reverb. reverb. changing the accent on the kick drum as well. Again, the real drummer would change. I stopped it now. Another thing I try to do is with the, with the cymbals is if you've got a hi-hat sounding 
Only try only have a hi hat sounding when there's no other cymbals. Don't have a hi hat and a ride at the same time because a real drummer wouldn't be able to play two different cymbals at the same time as well. They're playing the snare and the bass. Yeah, I've always when I've been programming my drums, I always try and imagine could a real drummer play this? And it's it would perhaps it would sound great to have lots and lots of different things all sounding at the same time, but. A real drummer couldn't do that, so it doesn't sound natural. And if it depends what you're after, if you if you might not be into you might not be interested in making a natural sounding drum pattern, but if you are, the main thing you got to remember, try and remember, is to vary it. Vary the temp, vary, not the tempo, vary the accents, where the snares and the hi hats fall, and the kick drum, vary the um, the, the volume. Of the snares and the hi hats, because a real drummer wouldn't play every single beat exactly the same volume as the last one. It wouldn't happen. So if you've got the time and you're doing your drum programming, take the time to uh, basically to vary it through the song, rather than just have one straight across trap, bro, straight across one one rhythm going all the way through the song. If you vary it. It'll sound more interesting and more natural and more realistic. All right, I think I've gone on enough at you there. I think you get the message. All right, see ya.